Bravo released the first few minutes of the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City season 4 reunion, and it has us shook. During the Monday, January 8, sneak peek, Lisa Barlow, Heather Gay, Meredith Marks, Whitney Rose, Monica Garcia and Angie Katzenevas traveled to New York City to hash out all the drama from the recent season. The soundstage where the reunion was filmed paid homage to the disastrous cast trip to Bermuda by going with a Devil's Triangle theme. As the co-stars prepared to confront Monica, 40, as a group, Whitney, 37, could be seen pulling Lisa and Heather, both 49, into a prayer circle. Meredith, 52, meanwhile, was the first housewife to arrive, and she brought her purse. I did bring it because I have a lot of notes, she told reunion host Andy Cohen. The Bravo executive producer, 55, kicked things off by pointing out that the cast hadn't seen each other since their getaway to Bermuda revealed that Monica was secretly running a RHOSLC gossip account called Reality Von Tees. Monica was quick to point out that she was the only one being iced out, saying, I feel like they have been together. I think they were together a lot. Minus me. Before asking the questions that viewers wanted answered, Andy took a detour to talk about the Jen Shah of it all. She's obviously not here, and I wonder, how did it feel doing the show without her? Were you worried as a group? He asked. Heather replied that she was nervous Jen's absence would upset fans who wanted to see a different kind of tension on the show. I was worried that people would want that type of drama and toxicity, she explained. I thought fans might tune out if they didn't see it. But we are excited for the chance to get free of all of that. We're excited for a chance to prove ourselves and show our friendships without that in the mix. Jen, 50, joined the cast of RHOSLC during the show's debut in 2020. While season 2 was filming in March 2021, Jen was arrested for wire fraud and subsequently sentenced to 78 months in prison with five years of supervised release after she pleaded guilty in 2022. The former reality star used her screen time on RHOSLC to stand by her innocence. Jen couldn't avoid the drama, though, and after Heather mysteriously got a black eye during a season 3 cast trip, many viewers questioned whether Jen was involved. Heather gave a lot of excuses to avoid explaining what happened or who was involved. It wasn't until the chaotic trip to Bermuda that Heather dropped the bombshell of all bombshells by pointing the finger at Jen. Despite being behind bars, Jen found a way to dispute the allegations. It's clear the show can't live without me since I was brought up at the beginning, middle and end of season 4, she wrote via Instagram after the RHOSLC season finale aired. Bravo, if I punched Heather in her eye, you guys would have footage to prove it. Andy is still but hurt that I turned down his one-on-one -on -one interview. Why would you sit down with someone who gave another cast member a black eye? Andy, meanwhile, clapped back at Jen's insinuation that Bravo was involved in Heather's claim. I don't want to be Captain Obvious here, but if we had footage, don't you think we would have aired it? He said during an episode of his Radio Andy show earlier this month. We would have had Heather saying, I don't know how I got the black eye, and then don't you think we would have cut to the footage with a cheerin' that said four hours earlier? He noted that Jen was a right about their plans for a one-on-one -on -one interview, adding, I had forgotten about the one-on-one -on -one with Jen. I don't care about it anymore, I'm over it. Her stipulations were insane. She wanted us to do a docuseries of her days leading up to jail, she wanted a lot of money and she was still professing her innocence, so it would have been another interview of her sitting across from me lying to my face which we got at two reunions from her. So that's that. That's my response to that. The three-part Rossock reunion kicks off on Bravo Tuesday, January 9, at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Episodes will stream the following day via Peacock.